hello everyone welcome back uh, to our youtube channel so in this uh, video we are going to see a simple inventory project so which is developed in python so if you have any doubts please mention the comment section below and i will try to answer them so if you think this video is a little fast for you please pause and replay the video and if you think this is a little slow then you can increase the speed in youtube settings okay so let's run this program what will be the final output so when we run this inventory program so this is the menu that we get here so option one for showing all the products and two for buying a product three for adding products so let's display all the products so you see here i mean there are like uh, five items that are available in this inventory store like smartphones headphones and so on and so forth so if you want to buy we need to press 2 and we need to provide the product id which id you want to buy so i am i want to buy a smartphone so i entered one and then after that here the customer name so you can give anything like uh, let me give some name here show on and once we enter that it will show us this order summary here so the date it is actually we will get the current date whatever we have having it here like section 33 the same system date we will get and the customer name and the price and total bill so if you want to confirm the order press y that's it so you will get the bill generated here the bill number is like this and then you will get this okay guys i mean if you want to see whether it is updated or not so previously in stock there are like 20 were there so if you rerun this program this count will be 19 only okay anyhow uh, so let's see the code exactly how we develop this, this one okay so i have taken all the products in a nested list here so in the list i have like uh, smartphones everything is defined here so you see this banner right so this banner is coming from a function called banner here it's a pretty straightforward print statements i just use some slash t's here i mean tabs here just for the beautifying the print statements okay and for even for displaying all the products i wrote another function which is like display all here again we just used a for loop and running this for loop on this all products so you see this here right so for item in all products so we are printing this item using the print statement again so inside this print statement i am using this format method which will be very useful basically so let's say something like uh, item of zero uh, the format method will map these values to these curly braces here so since we have four curly braces here and it will map like one by one so let's say something like you give value zero one two and three okay so if you run this thing so this zero will be mapped to this zero and one will be to this so let's see this how exactly that what i'm talking about so if i press one so you will get products in stock and price so this is the order right so in case if i modify this values here like if i give three here and then two okay so these values will be this three will be mapped here and the two will be mapped here let's see this how exactly that's so one so you see this here the values are getting changed here so previously we have something like this okay so this is the main advantage of this format function very useful so maybe you can use this format string method in your programs as well so if you have any doubts please mention the comment section below and similarly for order summary i have another function so this is again like uh, we are taking the product as input and the name as another parameter for this function and displaying using this print statements here so for generating so this is the another one and here i am using a random number generator for the bill number and for the date i am using this date time library so which I have already imported here okay so i'm just saying like uh, date time that now so it will give us the current date so finally i have put all these four function inside a while loop 
and this is a infinite loop you can say okay so only when the user press 4 that time this will break this loop okay so you can see here so when we press 1 all the items will be displayed when user press 2 it will display the items first and then it will ask the product id which product you want to buy okay so you can see this logic here exactly and here it is asking for the customer name because we need to show that customer name in the generated bill okay here even we have like confirmation message like y or yes or no in case user press n so we are not doing this i mean we're not proceeding with the order here we're just showing like message like continue exploring the shop okay so finally if we want to add product to the inventory okay so that time basically what we are doing is actually we are asking for admin username and password right now i have just hard coded this username and password and maybe in the future we can have a database and then we can validate the actual users here so once we validate the users i have just appended the entire details to the existing all products list so this is about this simple program this is like very less than like 100 lines it's like less than 90 lines okay so if you have any questions regarding this program please mention the comment section below and even if you want to improvise this program feel free to do that and even you can mention the comment section how you want to proceed with this program whether you want to have a web-based application for this one or uh, using a gui like uh, take enter something like that we can do that there are many things that we can do using this simple code so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video till then please take care